health mandates, for example, which they're clearly talking about mask and vaccines mm -hmm. as potential domestic terrorist threats. That's a big problem, right? I mean, the. Well, the, these on, things, you're for the vaccines or against the vaccines? I don't give a fuck what people do, but you can't well, mandate you, people you, to you, do. You're not, you're not, you, you're not studying the problem. Then. Uh, I mean, honestly, you got to do more homework on the problem because because you should give a fuck. And if you're going to go around unvaccinated and you end up in the hospital, I should be paying your insurance premiums. Uh, what if what if you I should be if, you, if your you're hospital. if you're eating if you're eating fucking garbage food, I should be paying no, that, your insurance. No, that's different. If I'm eating the garbage, it's it's harming myself. That's right. If you're infected with a virus and you're shedding the virus in public because you're unvaccinated. You don't have the right to swing your fist into my face. You have the right to stand in your house and swing your fist. I've got the right to do whatever the fuck I want, brother. And no, you're not putting something no, in my don't. fucking body. You don't have the right to swing your fist into my face. If you if you if you're trying to you have the right to swing your fist into my face. Yeah, if you're coming into my house and telling me what to fucking put inside of my body, absolutely, I will knock your fucking head oh, off your shoulders. Okay, absolutely. well you're well well this is the problem with the country. This is why the the Russians and the Chinese are winning because. You have a you you're at war right now. You have six hundred and twenty five thousand casualties on your way to seven hundred and fifty thousand casualties because the right wing propaganda has perverted your brain into thinking your freedom is tied to not getting that vaccine. And that's a bunch of horseshit. The same way there was a draft mandate when we went to war in the 1940s. We need a mandate on stuff like that to save people's lives. Right. So, well, I mean, if I believe so, so, if I believe way, any of this way, data that the government was putting out, maybe I would give some credit. If, if this was a virus that had a survivability rate under ninety nine point seven percent and then exponentially higher for people that are healthy and young, then I would care. Right. But I'm not going to fucking go out of my you're, way. And you're put destroying your drugs. public health. So you have said no, you have six hundred and twenty. You have more people dead right now than World War II. 600 Vietnam. people died of the flu last year. Have you seen this stuff, man? Come on. I'm not what, a right winger. What died of the flu last year? 646 people, according to the CDC, died of the flu. A typical year okay. is 25 so to so 60,000. So you're saying that the numbers you're saying that the numbers that are being reported are not accurate. Correct. Absolutely. And, and like I looked at it today, okay. even in right, Los Angeles. Good. Well, and that's and, why we're going to be fucked forever as a society. So a, a super smart guy like you, seeing it the way you're seeing it will be fucked forever as a society. The fact that we are fighting a war against an invisible enemy and we cannot come together and use the forces of science to protect ourselves and our family, we are fucked. The force the, the for, the, fine. You know, the, I, for, the I'm, forces I'm, of I'm science. I'm comfortable it, with it. I'm going to protect my family and protect my employees. Yeah, you do what you thing. want, but you're fucking up the society. Well, I mean, if you look at the L.A. Times today, they, I'm from Los Angeles, uh, spent the last 18 years there. I, I look at the new covid cases that are there now. Thirty percent of them are people who have been vaccinated. What is the explanation then behind? And how many of them? Zero point zero four percent of them have been hospitalized. Let's go over that. Four tenths of 1% of the people that you're referencing right. that have been vaccinated have ended up in the hospital. However, I'm on the board of the local hospital here. We have 40 people unvaccinated in the hospital, six of which are being intubated right now because they elected not to get the vaccine because they listened to Russian propaganda on the internet twist their minds about the concepts of freedom oh, you're boy. more free with the vaccine jesus than fucking you are Christ. without the vaccine oh man you're but more, how, you're how more free with a fucking you're more free with the fucking state sponsored i mean get the fuck out of here with this stupid bullshit are you fucking serious I mean, Jesus Christ. I, but wait, how many wait, wait, people? Wait. Is, how many not, people not live in New York? You, you can take serious. you can take that shit and shove it right up your fucking ass, man. Because right, what, well, you're, saying me, is, what you're saying is what you're saying is bullshit. What let you're saying you is something. bullshit. You come walk the hospital wards with me, the people that are unvaccinated, that are on their deathbeds as a result I've had of COVID. protecting themselves. I've had it and their families. I've had it. My my antibodies against COVID are better than yours. If you, if you haven't had it, because I've had the virus. That's how it fucking works for all of human history. So don't come at me with this fucking I'm against science bullshit, motherfucker. Jesus Christ. That's, a, right. that's an well, incredibly I, I, ignorant thing to you, say. You you invited me on your podcast. It's very, the, the ignorance is coming from the non-vaxxing side of this thing, not from the vaxxing side. You're, you're saying science, that as a, if this is a fundamental truth that vaxxing is better you, than not vaccine. Did you get the There's polio no vaccine? Did you get the measles vaccine? Are your, are your children vaccinated to go to school? I don't have kids, but yes, of course. They're vaccinated against stuff that has a fucking mortality rate or, or a, a long-term damage no, rate of like 40 plus percent. Measles mortality rate is no bigger or worse than COVID. 
Uh, not anymore. Yeah, sure. No, it's the same. After it's the after same, right, de- after decades after decades of antibodies being built. Yeah, the that's vaccines right. Vaccines have actually worked, and so that's why we've become complacent, and now we've allowed all this disinformation to enter the marketplace to it, cripple it's, the society. It's not disinformation. The fucking data is very plain about this. If you've had, it is COVID. it is very plain, and these vaccines are about to be FDA approved as a result of it. Hundreds of billions of people have gotten it safely. Uh, why I mean, why are we getting listen, a third booster? Listen, then? listen, why, why, reduce the symptoms. Well, that's not, but why that's are we getting a right. third booster? The booster it doesn't. That's not a problem. That's not a problem. And neither is getting the vaccine. I don't think it's dangerous or anything like that. What I know for a fact, because of thousands of years of science, is that natural antibodies are better than vaccines, typically speaking. And if you can and ride that, I wait, 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 the wait, science, wait, or wait, wait, for getting wait, the vaccine wait, than wait. you are getting the actual disease. God, shut the fuck up and let me talk. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Anyways. Is that how you talk to your guests? Say, go fuck yourself. Yeah, see ya. Go fuck yourself, you fucking douchebag. Oh, yeah. Cool. Anyways, so back to the point, yes. right? If you have natural antibodies, mm-hmm. right, then you are more protected than you are when you're vaccinated. Yes. At the end. And if that's the case, right, and you are vaccinated, which gives you antibodies, then me sh- viral shedding doesn't matter. Right. If 0.04 percent of the people that are in the hospital right now are un, are are vaccinated people, mm-hmm. and you're vaccinated, you're good to go. Yeah, what I do doesn't matter. No, and and the other part about this too is what a is fucking clown. We don't tell people to not get vaccinated. We're not anti-vaxxers or any of that shit. You're free to do whatever you want. It's the people that come on and demand you to get vaccinated and then they call you fucking idiots. Yeah, like they have all the data. Right now, we don't have any of the fucking data. We have zero. And it takes years and years, like Dan was saying, for the measles, the mumps, polio, everything else, to see if it's effective and then see what causes other fucking symptoms and everything else. And we simply don't have it right now. We have nothing against people getting their vaccination. Uh, We're not anti-vaxxers whatsoever. But right now, we simply don't have enough data for and for somebody to to scream in your face that you're getting uh, you are getting or not getting vaccinated is going to make a huge fucking difference. Yeah, this fucking dude that has, I mean, he, he's trying to, to smooth out his uh, 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 support of these fucking completely authoritarian liberals over the fucking last couple of years, but that's what he sounds like. It, it's this fucking, uh, 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 you're, you're not a patriot if you don't do this. That's what people say when they know they're losing the argument. Yeah. Well, fucking, if you know, you never know. This is those fucking stupid quips that have no real basis in reality. What he said was, he was trying to make the point that vaccine better than not vaccine as if that is a universal truth mm-hmm. that we've all accepted and that I'm just in denial about it. That's not true, Yeah. right? I've, I've had COVID, fine. Yeah, same. Millions of people have had it. They're all fucking fine. Less than 1% of people who have had it have died. So no, we're not doing that. The other part of this is, the spikes that are happening right now that everybody's talking about again have already happened in the UK, lasted for about a month. So now you're going to fucking authorize, and, and listen to the way that he said that stuff. Uh, it's about to be authorized by the FDA. Hundreds of millions of people have already gotten it. You got those fucking backwards, brother. Yeah. That's supposed to go in the other fucking direction. <laughs> so go fuck yourself. This guy's a fucking clown. Anyways, back to his uh, bullshit. He didn't give that much money to Obama or Clinton, but he made statements like this. Uh, he deleted all these tweets, by the way, but luckily the Internet exists. Wow. If Hillary keeps this up, she might be back in play for 2016. I hope she runs. She is incredibly competent. Uh, I like Hillary. Have to go with the best athlete. We need this to turn around. So, I mean, come on, man. Yeah. This guy's a fucking clown. Tweets were deleted and then he went to work for Trump, which is why I asked him yeah. the question, why go and work for Trump? If you hate all these things about him and you knew him beforehand, that doesn't make sense to me either. Um, you know, if you're going to make a deal with the devil and you already know him, Shouldn't you have known what the fucking deal was going to be?